Hi, I'm Matt Galgan. I'm a technology entrepreneur that's founded a few companies and now run a consultancy. Because I've got clients all over the world, I'm constantly traveling, and I've picked up a few good hacks along the way. Today I'm flying to Tokyo, and I want to take you along with me so that you can see some of these tips in action. Today I'm flying with one of the best kept secrets in international travel, Air Canada. And they've got an app that makes it really easy for me to just punch a couple of buttons and get my boarding pass right on my phone. And they've now got an Apple Watch app that allows me to get my boarding pass right on my wrist. Today we're making decent time, but I never want to feel rushed when I'm heading to the airport. So before I ever leave the hotel, I like to check this navigation app called Waze, which allows me to see wherever there's accidents or traffic jams along the way. And let me tell you, the drivers love it whenever I'm shouting out directions from the back seat. No one in the history of ever has said, I like security lines. I mean, I certainly don't. Air Canada is a part of the Star Alliance program, which means that gold members and business class passengers get a priority security line to get through. But I've got global entry, which means that I have a known traveler number attached to every single boarding pass that I have, which increases the chance that I get through TSA pre so I can fly through security. Thanks a lot. My flight today is a quick hop to Toronto before we head on to Tokyo. I hate long layovers. That's why this particular Air Canada flight to Tokyo is awesome. There's no switching terminals. If you've got a check bag, it goes right to your next gate. And get this, it's just a quick passport check. There's no immigration hassles, no customs, super easy. The whole process took just a few minutes. On time. Now, I've been to a lot of airports in my time, but let me tell you, this one is fantastic. There's tons of great restaurants, some great shopping, and fast free Wi-Fi. But I've got a bit of time before my flight, so I'm gonna head up to the Air Canada Maple Leaf Lounge and relax before we head out to Tokyo. And uh, I don't know how they got this massive sculpture in here, but uh, it's pretty cool. Good morning. Good morning, how are you doing? Lounges are a great way to make good use of your time if you've got a connection, and this one's one of my favorites. They've got a full business center with tons of quiet work areas if you need it, and if you just want to sit back and relax, there's a bunch of great free food, and most importantly, free drinks. When I've got a long layover before international travel, I sometimes like to take a quick shower. It just gets that travel feel off of my skin. See you in a bit. When I'm waiting for my flight to be called, I like to check my plans ahead of when I land. I'm probably gonna be a little bit jet lagged, so I'll confirm the address and transportation now. Passengers traveling on Air Canada AC001 to Narita at 2 p.m. That's us. Time to go. Ready? Okay. Thanks a lot. Have a good flight. Thank you. When you're taking a long flight, the right plane can make all the difference. And this is one of Air Canada's brand new fully loaded 787s. I hear they don't call it a Dreamliner for nothing. Let's check it out. Hi, how are you Welcome doing? Welcome aboard, so may I see your board? Thank you, board? absolutely. Thank you. So this is premium economy. I'm usually pretty happy when I'm flying in one of these seats, but today, I'm flying business class. It's critical that I get good rest so that I can go to my meetings right after I land. Some people might consider this a bit of a luxury, but to business travelers, it's a game changer. Now we've got power outlets on a flight like this, but if you don't, you really need to conserve battery power or get an external battery like this one. You never want a dead phone when you arrive. Yeah, I'm not gonna work 14 hours straight. Now, I usually like to download movies and stuff to watch beforehand, but they've actually got tons of hours of great entertainment right here on the seat back. And you get to watch it gate to gate so that you don't have to worry about your movie getting cut off as you get ready to land. One of the things that everybody worries about for long haul flights is jet lag. But the 787 has a low cabin altitude, which means fewer headaches and less fatigue. And I try to get to sleep as quickly as possible while in the air, which I'm about to do for real. And when I arrive, I try to stay up as long as possible to make sure that I can adjust to the new time zone. See you in Japan. That was an easy flight. A quick shower and a change at my hotel, and I'm ready for my first meeting. I'll catch up with you guys on my way back. That was a great trip. Got a whole lot done, but now it's time to head home. 
I flew into Narita, but now we're heading out of Haneda. Turns out this Air Canada flight is the quickest one from Tokyo to the northeast of any airline. I'm looking forward to an easy ride home. Now when you fly through Toronto back to the States, your checked luggage actually goes right through without having to claim and recheck it. And if you fly Air Canada, you actually clear US Customs right here and get it over with. So by the time I'm back home, I can walk right out of the airport as if I was flying domestic. Not bad. I feel sorry for these guys. So I'm almost home and they're really not going to let us film past this point. So I've got to leave you here. I hope you enjoyed traveling with me today and you learned some good tips along the way. Now international travel can be really rough, trust me, I know. But thanks to Air Canada, this quick trip to Tokyo went super smooth. I'm Matt Galgan and I'm out. Happy traveling.